I'm here with Mark Sinkovich with SciViz, and uh, what they have is what I consider the next generation of um, the command and control center. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the mic over to um, uh, Mark and let him explain the system to you. Thank you very much, Art. Appreciate that. Hi, I'm Mark Sinkovich, and I'm the federal director for SciViz. And what we have here is an example of a tactical operations center or a portable operations center, but what we, what we do is we sell command and control centers. And according to DISA, we're considered a visual display solution. So we sell the displays, the processor, video processor, and the control system. And what I'm going to tell you right now, there's three things that you're going to know about us that make us unique. Number one, we have a common operating environment. Whether we have one wall or many walls, they all look, feel, and operate the same way. We're very scalable, like building blocks. You can start small with two monitors and grow that to a large command center. And the third thing is we're very simple to deploy, operate, and maintain. The key is you actually get to focus on your mission instead of trying to make the system operational. And let me show you a little bit about our system and how easy it is to use. This is our control system right here and it's called the Cybiz Multi-Touch Monitor. And what we do is we actually have main PC, secondary PC, and what that allows me to do is take advantage of the pixel density of all combined monitors. So in this case, you're seeing a uh, satellite image of the Boneyard, which is Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Arizona. And what I can do is I can zoom in or zoom out on that and I actually can look at artifacts that are very important to a mission. What else I can do is I can then take and put in different classifications of systems. This happens to be a unclassified image of various command center pictures. I can put in a sipper or a secret image. Uh, this happens to be a UAV um, imagery and I can move that around. You can see that I'm pinching and zooming that and moving that around in real time. Uh, we're one of the, we're the only company that can do that where you can move that around in real time. And then I can also put a TS image on the wall as well, of a, in this case a UAV, and move that around too. So now what I have is I have the ability to take multiple f sources, put those on the wall, and allow me to have supreme situational awareness for my mission. And then I can also change and look at another primary desktop in the background that's take advantage of all the pixels, so that I now have the ability to go back and forth in between uh, imagery, applications, and also other sources on the wall at the same time. And then I can go over here, if you're able to look at my system, I can save the preset, and I can call this uh, GeoInt, since so we're at the GeoInt show, day three. I can save that, and now when I go to my presets, I'm now here under the GeoInt show of what I just was working on before. Uh, yesterday I saved a preset which was called day two and you can see my preset under day two and what that looks like. Immediately I'm able to go back and save presets based on the mission to make sure that I'm focused on whether it's a mission in a cyber security operations center, a traditional command and control center, or a, a joint operations center so that I'm able to have supreme situational awareness to make more powerful decisions. If you'd like more information about SciViz, please visit SciViz.com at C-Y-V-I-Z.com or uh, email Mark, M-A-R-K, at SciViz.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.